residents of New York's Long Island have been protesting outside a local energy company over its failure to fully restore power to surrounding neighborhoods following Superstorm Sandy. An estimated 170,000 people in the area are still without electricity. Locals are also becoming frustrated with ongoing travel problems and gas shortages, which continue two weeks after the storm, while debris, including cars and boats, remain scattered across neighborhoods. However, the disaster has brought local residents closer together. It's bad. It's, it's overwhelming, actually. Um, but what I have seen as well is the community coming together, and they're coming together as one team. So when we had Marines here, it was just really easy for us to relate because we're all about teamwork, and we were basically joining their team. News has also emerged that a 64-year-old man had died at his home in Staten Island of suspected drowning from the storm. Sandy killed at least 120 people, destroyed infrastructure and homes, and resulted in around $50 billion worth of economic losses and damage.